Hey guys, welcome to Effortless Code Learning. I hope you are doing well. Inside this video, we are going to learn how to show rich text with some key features like highlight email, phone number and web link. Also, if this text is very large, then how to apply the read more and read less option. And we can perform the styling on the different part of this rich text. So that is what we are going to learn in this tutorial. So ultimately, this will be a really interesting video. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now without wasting time, let's begin. We can use text pen widget to show rich text. But by using this text pen widget, key features like highlighting email, phone number, text and web link. Also, if you want to attach on press callback handler of this highlighting terms, it takes a lot of efforts as well as it takes much time. Instead of that, we can use third party plugins. Ultimately, this plugin use same things. It use text pen widget, but they have already implemented it. So we can save our efforts and time. So for this video, we are going to use custom rich text package to implement rich text. It provides all these key features like highlighting text, email, phone number and website. Even we can attach on press callback handler on all these things. We can apply read more and read less functionality if your text is very large. So let's see how to create rich text using this plugin. Let's make change inside this main.dart file. So here inside this center widget, I'm going to use custom rich text widget. Inside this widget, I will specify text. Let's use text property for that. Here I have this long text. I'm just copying it. So inside this text, I have mentioned this web URL that we are going to highlight. Also, I have mentioned this email address and phone number that we will be highlighting. And on this, we will be attaching on press callback handler. Also, we will be highlighting this flutter term and we can attach on press callback handler on this term. So let's see one by one. Now you can see this long text is displayed here. It is very long text. Now first apply read more and read less functionality. So for that we need to use read more or less model property. And here we are going to use read more or less model widget for that. Inside this widget we are going to set some properties. We will apply trim line. It will be like how many lines will be displayed. Once this trim line offset is bridge, this read more and read less will be displayed. Then what text should be displayed on read more that we are going to show here. Then we will show what text should be displayed for read less. Now let's see. Here you can see read more is displayed. As soon as I click on this read more option, read less will be displayed here next to this text. So this text is getting expand and collapse. As I click on this read more and read less. Now let's highlight this flutter term from this text. So for that I am going to use highlight term property of this custom rich text widget. Here we can specify multiple terms if you want to highlight multiple words. So here I am just going to highlight flutter. Here you can see this flutter word is highlighted now. Earlier it was in black color now it's shown in blue color. So wherever we have written this flutter that is highlighted here. Let's apply on press callback handler on this email, web and phone number. For this I am going to use on web link app property. I will set callback handler for that. This callback handler will accept text. Here it will be web link. Let's make this function async. Here I am going to call launch URL string function from this URL launcher package. And I will pass this web link here. Here you can see this URL is highlighted. As soon as I click on this URL, it will be opened in browser. So let's click on this and let's see. Here you can see this browser is open with this URL. This web page is shown inside this browser. Now let's move back to our application. As we have seen how to highlight web URL as well as attach on press callback handler for web url now let's attach on press callback handler for email and phone number so for that i'm going to use this on email tab property and here i will set callback handler for this here email will be as a parameter for this function then again we can use same launch url string function and here we can open this email using email client here we need to specify mail to with this email to launch email client let's make this function as async 
then let's attach on press callback handler for this phone number so for that i am going to use this on phone tap property it will have phone number as a parameter let's make this function async again i am going to use this launch url string function and inside this launch url string instead of this mail to we will specify tell string so it will open phone dialer here you can see this email and phone number is highlighted now because we have attached this on press callback handler for email and phone number too so let's click on this email so it should launch email client here you can see this gmail is launched now i am moving back to application let's check the phone number here i am going to tap on this phone number so this dialer is open here so we can dial this number that's how you can highlight the text email web link and phone number also if you want to change the style of this text or you want to change style of this read less or read more that is possible using this widget there are few more properties available with this widget to customize it further that's all for this video i hope this video was really helpful if you like this video please click on like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel